Imagine if someone said that they want to lower taxes today and then increase them again in a few years. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Every American taxpayer owes over $165,000 towards the national debt. Isn't that a tax? In other words, when President Trump wants to lower taxes, but at the same time increase the debt, is that really saving the public money? For example, you spend $3,000 a year on designer brand clothing. You decide to stop it and put that money towards a savings account instead. You also go to the bank and you borrow the same amount, $3,000, and you also spend that money on designer brands. At this point, are you really saving money? Some experts argue that when the government taxes people less, they're making less revenues, so they have to borrow in order to make up for that. But they are wrong because that doesn't take into consideration that lower tax rates pay for themselves. Because don't they also mean that businesses will have more money to spend on hiring workers and creating jobs? What about poor people? Doesn't that keep more money in their pockets to spend on healthcare, food, and other living expenses? And what if all of that meant that the government's going to be spending less money on unemployment benefits, food stamps, Medicaid, and other forms of welfare spending? And what if we took it even a step further? During the campaign, then-candidate Trump said that he is going to cut down on government spending, crack down on waste, and end unnecessary government expenses. On December 31, 2017, Congress and the President are going to agree on what's going to be the first full one-year budget under the Trump administration. Imagine what his legacy would look like if he was going to create economic growth through lowering taxes, and maintaining that for decades to come through lowering the national debt. What if the long term was taken into consideration? Imagine how prosperous that would make America's economy.